Kevin has one home but two addresses. It makes everything from getting the mail and putting the bins out to paying energy and telco bills a nightmare. In almost a decade, there hasn't been a single government department who's been able to help Kevin. So he called us. The green tiled house on the corner looks suburbanly normal from above. Yet it's anything but down on the ground. I'm number 11 Yarra Street and number 2 to Brook Street. And therein lies the rub. For Kevin Hagenson's house with its two addresses is proving to be a bigger pain than his crook back. Most people would think, mate, that if your house faces this way, if the driveway is this way, you are number 11. That's correct. You'd think so. Life isn't Can always so please? simple. His house and drive certainly face Yarra Street, which is where he says he should be. But somehow, his side fence and house wall is his official mailing address. Two to Brook Street. My rubbish will stay there. Garbage night is a lucky dip, so he has both numbers and tries both streets. They're as confused as I am. The council is having an each-way bet when they send his rates. So they're saying that the property location is 11 Yarra Street. That's correct. Yeah, they've got to mail it to 2 to Brook Street. Yes. Even his official contract of sale says 2 to Brook, also known as 11 Yarra Street St Mary's. And the NBN connection was a nightmare because they told him... You're to Tobruk. So where did the line come in from? Tobruk? From Yarra. From Yarra. <laughs> All service providers say he is to Tobruk. It's pretty inconvenient that you can't connect any services, electricity, water, gas, phone, NBN, to your address. I can't receive mail at my address. No, he can't put a letterbox out front of his house, even though local, state and federal governments say he is 11 Yarra Street. And mail to that address, which he doesn't get. Delays have gone on for months because the documents were not handed over. The postman says he's too to Brook and won't deliver to 11 Yarra because there is already an 11 Yarra next door. I'm number 11, yes. Yeah, gotcha. But that's number 11. That uh, displays number 11 on the front, on their letterbox. But yeah. you're also number 11. No, I am number 11. He's not number 11. <laughs> you're, he's not number 11. You're number 11. But he's 11, but he should be 13. That's correct. And they should be the next one up is the next number. The that's next right. one up is 13, but they should be 15. Correct. This is awfully confusing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Seems in the day someone allocated the street numbers back in the 1940s, they may have been recovering from a big night out. Anyway, Kevin's ringing everyone. He'd write, but what's the point? Uh, New South Wales Police, Federal Police, New South Wales Ombudsman, Department of Fair Trading, the New South Wales Premier's Office, New South Wales Department of Housing. And so far, he's heard... Nothing. That's when he contacted a current affair. Yeah, I'm fed up with it. Eight years, it's just, yeah and just hitting a brick wall everywhere. Down at his local council, Penrith, they didn't wish to be interviewed about the matter, but after constant inquiries by us, a breakthrough of sorts and an admission, something Kevin hadn't heard before. What has occurred in Mr Hagginson's instance is that the property next to his has incorrectly identified itself as number 11 Yarra Street, when it is number 13 Yarra Street. Council has been actively speaking with the adjacent property owner to rectify their numbering error. While that process continues, Mr Hagginson should know he is the rightful property owner of 11 Yarra Street and that council records reflect that. Land Registry agrees, saying they are working closely with residents in Yarra Street at North St Mary's to correct the number being displayed outside two properties. All I want is my address. Yeah. It's not much to ask for, <laughs> I don't think. Getting the right number has never been so difficult. Powerball would have been easier. You just want a number. Yep. The right one. The right one. <laughs> What a nightmare. That's eight years and counting now. We'll be keeping tabs on this saga to see just how long it takes council to act on their words and rectify Kevin's issue.